Welcome back everybody. I have another video for you. So, uh, the previous video that I did on forced farming islands was on the tarantula, which for the northern hemisphere is currently out. It is available from November clear to the end of April. When the tarantula went out, the scorpion came in. Uh, if you're in the southern hemisphere, that's reversed. The time that they spawn is the same, 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. Um, so with the tarantula, if you got close and it was about to pounce at you, it did that little jump before it would dart at you. Scorpion does not do that. However, something they do both have in common, uh, whenever you get within range to where if you keep getting closer before they charge at you. They do both pop up the front and shake a little at you, so you can use that as a range gauge. Uh, I did find something fun out today that I have not known for the month that I've been playing this game, which is that if you walk around without a net in hand, they won't actually chase you, they'll run from you. So that is a wonderful way to get uh, get a gauge at where they're at uh, before you equip. So currently we have a single level island. This is one of the rare islands. It is Bamboo Island. Um, so we are going to clear all of this out. Remember the rules for making a forced farming island. You pick the flowers, do not dig them up, because digging them up, you have to replant the flowers anyways to clear out the space in your inventory, but if you only pick the buds, you can drop them. You want to clear out everything that you can so that there is nothing bug-wise that will spawn. Clear out all the rocks, clear out all the trees. That does include the coconut trees. Dig up the stumps everything. Now I did go ahead and set it up to where once I am done clearing everything out I will have three rows of this for just the farming. Now I have not checked the price of the scorpions. I assume that they are the same amount as the tarantulas. Tarantulas are 8,000 a piece when I did my last farming of the season, I had 33 tarantulas that I farmed from one island, and the haul was 264,000 bells. So we are going to go ahead and clear all of this out. Now, as of right now, I have not seen any sign of beetles that pop up on the bamboo stumps. So you do not have to dig them up. However, the coconut stumps will spawn the beetles. There's the violin beetle. There's the longhorn citrus beetle. Um, there's the jewel beetle. And then there's the blue and... I don't know if it's blue and black or blue and white, but there is a bluish one that pops up. The name escapes me at the moment, but... Uh, they will spawn if you don't clear up the stumps. So make sure that you clear out the coconut stumps. If you are on a single tier that has cherry trees, hardwood trees, cedar trees, rule goes for all of them. So keep that in mind. Once you have everything chopped, picked, smashed, make sure you pick up all the items. And then once you are done with that, we are going to drop all of this down onto the beach just so that it is out of the way and we have a much more clear view of what we're looking at. Okay, so at this point you can see we have all of the trees chopped down so now it is just a matter of cleaning everything up.
fun thing with Bamboo Island is it does not matter if you dig up the sprouts. You do not have to dig up the sprouts. One of the one of the only things that is aggravating with doing this, more or less, is just clearing out the other bugs because if they are spawned on the island, then it will take longer for the scorpions themselves to spawn. Thankfully, once everything is cleared off, it does not take long. Remember, as I said before, if you do not have a net equipped, it will not chase you, it will actually run from you. So, we are going to try and get a little close. Try to keep it from getting too close into the water, because if it does, we'll lose it. So as I said, this one does not jump before pouncing at you, however it does still let you know whenever you are within striking or jumping range. And there we have our first scorpion. Yay! Okay, so we have a total of 30 spaces for the scorpions because each set across is 10 spaces, so we have 30 spots for them. Alright, here we go. So I don't know if you caught that, but because I was fairly close to the scorpion when I equipped the net, uh, it did turn around and immediately go into a striking pose. So that is something you do want to keep in mind, is your distance between yourself and the scorpion before you equip the net, because if you are within range of the scorpion striking distance uh, whenever you do set the net, and this does go for tarantulas as well, then it will turn around and immediately strike at you, resulting in uh, a loss of scorpion or tarantula. So one of the biggest frustrations of doing this is that once in a while you may actually not get much other than beetles spawning up on your island. It is extremely frustrating and really the only thing to do about it is to just keep going around your island and checking for bugs that you do not need. Okay, two-thirds of the way there. As I said before, because it is a forced island, they do not spawn as often as on actual farming islands for tarantula and scorpions. You know, you go, you go to a tarantula island, you may have, you know, five or six currently spawned simultaneously at a time. Uh, whereas with the scorpions, you know, the most you might see spawn at a time on a, uh, on a forced island is maybe two. I've never seen more than two at a time on a forced island. And seeing two at a time, they, that's only happened a few times since I started doing this. So, it's not something you commonly see. Um, 
So this does take longer. Um, on an actual tarantula or scorpion island, you could have your inventory filled within about 10 minutes, roughly. Uh, whereas with this, you know, we've been doing this for, let's see, what time is it? It's 2.30. I know I got to the island a little after 1. Uh, so we've been doing this for roughly about an hour and a half. And we're just now two, two thirds of the way through this. So if that gives you any idea of how long this can take, um, it would take even longer if we didn't know about the net trick and kept getting bombarded by scorpions. We would actually have less than we do currently. As well as having the little darting trick over the beetles. If you tried doing this and didn't know about that and just left the bugs alone, it would take you even longer because the only the only way to make sure that your scorpions and tarantulas even spawn as frequently as they might is by making sure that periodically you go through the island and make sure that there are absolutely no bugs walking around on the island whether it be wharf roaches, water bugs, tiger beetles, what have you because if they are walking around then that is going to further limit whether or not you may or may not have a scorpion spawn within a certain time frame. Thank <laughs> you. 